Today we're going over switching out the stock Pop! OS setting to make it look exactly like Mac OS. Uh, this is going to be pretty fun, but I wanted to go ahead and make a cheat sheet for everyone to follow. This shouldn't take more than probably a couple minutes. Uh, and at the end, we should have a Mac operating system. Uh, if you like this video, I will probably make future videos doing like XFCE and other desktop environments. But just know this video is mainly for Pop! OS or Ubuntu or other GNOME desktop environments in Debian. So with that said, let's go ahead, jump on the desktop and get right into it. All right, on our desktop, we're gonna just launch right into our browser. This is a stock setting, no changes have been made at all to this. So we're gonna go ahead and type christitus.com forward slash Linux dash Mac OS. Now I did list all the source files here. So if you're watching this years from now, I know you can get updated themes and everything just by clicking these source files. Uh, but I went ahead and cloned everything to a singular repository so we can just copy and paste everything we need here. We need to fix and install all our dependencies. So everything that she's going to use to emulate it. So we'll copy this just by clicking that little button and we'll just paste that right in, enter our password and away we go. This should download and install all the tools we need. Next up, we're going to clone this GitHub repository that I've made that has all the assets we need to make this look like Mac. So we'll just go ahead and paste that in. I'm doing these copy and paste by just holding Control Shift and pressing V to paste it into terminal. Um, also, I just click this to copy it to clipboard. So with that done, it added all these things, all of our themes, everything we need for this. Now it's time to make everything change. Now, normally you can go through this and do it through a GUI, but I made little scripts so we can go ahead and do it all with a click of a button. Everything looks like Mac. So we've already done a large share of this, but we can continue on and go even further. So we're gonna scroll down. Uh, we need to add like the little Mac doc and then search, which what search is, is just like a spotlight replacement. So we can just do something for it. We'll go ahead and copy this. And again, control shift V to paste all this in. This will add some repositories needed to make these tools work. Okay, it looks like that's installed. So we'll just hit the Windows key and type Albert. That's the spotlight search replacement. We don't want to send telemetry data. OK, and then we'll choose a hotkey. Now you could do uh, the Windows key and spacebar or, or the meta key and spacebar to emulate spotlight. I'm going to actually do control shift F to do that. We want to auto log in at the start. We also want to change the theme to an arc dark gray. Now for extensions, applications, calculator, Chrome, external extensions, files and bookmarks. If you want to search the web, you can also do some other stuff down here, which uh, I'll go ahead and do for these things. Uh, if you want to do web search, go ahead and put it in here. I'm going to leave it off. I don't particularly like web search, but if you want to search the web with like a spotlight, you can. Uh, I like it more to stay local, though. With this done, I'll go ahead and close that out. And we're pretty much done. Now, if I hold Control Shift F, you'll see that little spotlight thing. So. Uh, next up, I want to put Cairo doc. We'll go ahead and launch that. So we'll say remember choice and we'll go ahead and hit yes to this question. That only pops up once. From here, we're pretty much done with all of our terminal. So we'll close this out and we'll come back to modify this out to look exactly like Macintosh. But we need to get some extensions on GNOME first. I'll hold control, click here. We're going to install some GNOME extensions. So first off, we need to be able to. So we'll just click this to install, add, and say OK. Close that. And then I created little bookmarks for all the extensions we need. We're going to be using user themes, frippery move doc, dynamic uh, panel transparency, and an on-screen display. So we'll go ahead, enable these, and we're just going to repeat this for each one of these. All right, with all of our extensions enabled, we can now start configuring them. We'll go ahead and pull up our little spotlight search here and type extensions. 
And from here, we can just change each one of these. For dynamic panel, we just need to change our custom opacity to be about 50 and 100 for that. We'll close that out. Move dock, nothing. Panel OSD, we're going to go ahead and do about a 97, 98 uh, right in here. And then show a test notification. You can see that's where it kind of puts it emulates exactly what it is. You can change this position too. I just find this is kind of where it resides on Mac. And next up, we need to actually configure our dock. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of minimize this uh, just a hair so we can just kind of see our dock. And we're gonna add it to the startup extensions or startup applications. So again, we can just pull up our little spotlight search or Albert search as it's called in Linux here. And we're gonna type gnome tweaks and this will launch into some tweaks we need to do. Specifically, and I'm just gonna double click the little title bar to maximize, we need to look at startup applications. And we're gonna add Albert to it. We're also gonna add Cairo Doc. And that's about it. Now, if you're curious about theming this out for something else, you can actually go into appearance and you can kind of see all the things we've done. Uh, sound is still Pop OS default. This one's actually default. Uh, you can actually change this around. I'm gonna actually do white sir dark for this. Give it that dark appearance. You see how that changed? So uh, a couple things the script missed was just the shell portion of it, which we just fixed by doing tweak tool. But from here, we really don't need anything else for tweak tool. Uh, the lock screen, I'm gonna change this just a hair. Uh, if you go into backgrounds, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to BS1 and that'll change the lock screen to be pretty much all Mac OS as you see here. So the last thing is to fix our dock down here. You see how they kind of pop and have like this weird fade effect. We can fix all that. So we're just gonna right click and type configure and we're just gonna go through each one of these. Visibility of the dock, you can change all these different things. The very big things is the icon animations. We actually wanna just zero these out as we don't really want any effects. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit apply. And as you see, it's more of that Mac aesthetic. Theming, we're just gonna add a theme here. So we'll just go that search, go Mac OS, go into Cairo. And then from Cairo, we're gonna install the dark and white theme. So we'll go ahead, import those, hit apply. And we'll also do the white theme, hit okay and apply and pretty much done here. So you can load the theme. You can see that we've added those themes down here. I had a little bit of a crash there, so uh, that's all right. And we'll go ahead, zero that out one more time. So now we'll go back to our themes. You can change between the dark and white theme depending on what you want, but we still have one more thing. The applications menu, as you see, not right. We need to actually fix that. We're gonna add a custom icon here. If we come back into here, we've already done the icon animations. We've done the theming. Now we just need to add this little launch pad. So we're just gonna highlight that, copy it, and come here, click add. And then we're gonna just say custom launcher. Custom launcher, bottom dock. We'll say launch pad. And we'll enter the command. Just go to your home directory, type Mac OS. That's where we cloned it earlier. And you'll see Launchpad PNG. We'll just hit OK to that. And then that will pull in our entire thing. And now, now we can actually change these around a bit. We'll throw Launchpad all the way at the end here. And then we'll take this one out as we don't want a traditional start menu as you wouldn't see that on Macintosh. Just right click and say, remove item, apply and close. From here, we are pretty much done with this install. As you see, click Launchpad, you get the little pop-up, click Finder, you'll get your little file browser with a little opacity as you see, and everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, the start screen is very uh, Mac aesthetic. Pop OS actually kind of has that emulation, just changing like the lock screen around kind of did it as well. 
So that is pretty much how to customize. Very straightforward. It's all open source, everything in here. You can easily just take clone and go. However, if you don't want to go do any of this and you want this right out of the box, I am uploading a custom image to the portal.christtitus.com. That portal section, I think I'll label this like $5 if you want to download an ISO. That just kind of helps cover the storage and transfer fees. And it actually gives a little donation to me just as a say thank you. But if you don't want to do any of that, by all means, just use the open source projects here. It's all publicly available and rather easy to do with my little setup script here. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.